There's nothing wrong with being somebody being charismatic, persuasive, passionate, persistent. Where does it cross the line to being cult-like and exploitive, manipulative versus just good business? I think where, where the rubber meets the road is when they start saying that their business plan is perfect and that if it fails, it's on you and that there are people wearing designer shoes, but there's also a motto, fake it till you make it. And so people are dressing and, and acting as if they're very successful when they're not, and they're not giving you the full scoop. They're hiding a lot of information. Again, a bait and switch con. And when they're talking to you more about recruitment than they are about what you are going to get, then you, then a kind of light goes on and you say, well, wait a minute, I thought this was about a product. I thought we had a product line that was something desirable that people would buy and we'd make money by selling a product. No, it's about recruiting more people into the MLM. And the MLM participants are buying the product and that's who's buying their product. And it's all about just building the multi-levels, which are feeding money up to the top. And the love bombing that happens in the beginning, that is the seemingly unconditional love that people are being showered with when they come in, it's not unconditional. It's highly manipulative and conditional. And what they're really doing is saying, yeah, we love you if you will become a distributor and become involved, but as soon as you hesitate, and this is where it becomes cult-like, they're, they're like ready to excommunicate you and shun you. How many people here have been approached by a multi-level pitch by somebody? Wow. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> wow. That's like 75% of the audience. You had to come in. Let's get you a microphone. My question is, what would you say the target demographic is of these MLMs, and what can we do to help these people avoid falling into these traps? Well, you've got a pulse. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, if you've got a pulse, they'll take your money. Rick, how would you answer that? I would say it's a, there's a, a lot of women involved. And I would say the demographic for a lot of these groups is 18 to 26. But then I would say they target, they micro-target certain demographics for certain companies. Like I participated in a documentary about a leggings MLM called Lulero. You may have heard about that group. Uh, they're being sued by some of their distributors. And I think their target group was women, uh, married women, uh, single mothers who are at home and want a home-operated business. Any demographic could be targeted, but I would say that during the pandemic, when people were alone and working from home, that made people incredibly vulnerable. And you had a lot of people getting sucked in. And if you're searching online, the algorithm of a search engine will keep serving up more information about what you're inquiring about. And many of these groups are very savvy and they use search engine optimization mm -hmm. so that the algorithm will pull their group to your attention and then you go down the rabbit hole. And by the way, there was a study done um, by Truth in Advertising uh, org. They looked at the financial disclosures of 32 of the bigger MLMs, and 80% of the people that got involved made less than $1,200 in a year before expenses. And they didn't mention that, did they? No. They, they, they forgot to say anything yeah, about they, that? Yeah, they, they forgot to tell, yep. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.